What the heck kind of game opens up with crickets and chip munching? Joe, that's not chip munching, that's your footsteps. Oh, what the heck, really? What game are we playing then, Obama? Just wait for the title card, give it a few seconds. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Isn't this the game you and Donald were talking about when we were running away from that ghost before? I'm actually surprised you remembered that. You'd be surprised how many things I can remember pretty well, especially something special, which will likely be this video, although probably for the wrong reasons. Wait, this just clicked with me. I'm in a forest. Why am I in a forest? Uh, I need some explaining. I don't remember the story or history that well, but from what I can remember, there's a legend that a demon with a tall figure and no face is roaming these parts. Wait, this thing has no face? And for some reason, you're here to find out if it's true or not while also collecting eight pages. What the heck kind of setup is this? There has to be more than that. There's no way you're convincing me. I just came here on my own free will. Well, from what I can remember, yeah, that's exactly how it went, actually. Whoever you're playing as chose to seal her fate here. Oh, man, this is one of the few times I need Donald here for more company. Where the heck is he of all times? I think he said something about playing golf or something. I have to look back at the text messages. Help me. Who the heck am I helping here? No way more people actually came out here as well. What the heck is that noise? Why does it sound like it's thundering nearby? I don't see any super foggy clouds or anything. That's actually the noise of the Slender Man getting triggered. What? How does me collecting that one singular page just pissed off a demon that roams a forest at night? I don't know, Joey. This is a video game where you're running from a supernatural demon. I quite frankly don't have any answers to your questions. Gosh, I'm getting a lot of PTSD from these trees at night. Doesn't help that there's just this truck in the middle of nowhere here, which means someone must have been in this area already. Hey, why is my screen getting fuzzy? Joe, you might want to get out of there. He's watching you nearby. Ah, uh, what? Seriously? How close is he? I don't know, but just get the page first, bro. What did that page say? I'm trying to dip as soon as possible. It said, no eyes always watches. What the heck does that mean? It's exactly what you think it means. He has no eyes, and he's always watching you from a distance. That's exactly what I was hoping you wouldn't say. I thought you were maybe being figurative or metaphorical. What am I going to do if I see him? Just do what Donald did that one time. Pull the biggest 180 anyone has ever seen. I thought you'd say that, but was again hoping you were not gonna. I'm sorry, what the heck is this place? Looks like a mini worn down bathroom. Do I really have to go in there, Obama? I'm gonna give you exactly five seconds to think about the answer. Bet you $10 you'd get it. Okay, but what if I don't want to? Do you really believe you have much of a choice, Joey? I hate this game, and we've been playing it for like three minutes already. Man, this place is giving me some bad memories about this one time I was in a camp school trip in sixth grade. Back when I was a kid, it was for some reason required of us to go to a camp field trip in the late years of elementary school. One time I had to take a leak when it was like 10.30 p.m., which was the time everyone was asleep, or should be at least. I got up and brought myself to the restrooms, but as I was leaking, I heard grass rustles not too far from where I was at. I tried to find whoever it was that was watching me, but never saw anyone. Joey, are you sure that wasn't just a raccoon or some small critter going about? Forests usually harbor a lot of small animals. That is true, but it also harbors some dangerous creatures as well, like giant demonic spiders, exactly like Charles, except it's not a train and not nearly as big as him, but still big. These things are literally everywhere, though. You might as well just never go outside if you're that fearful of situations like that, which happen kind of rarely at our place. You act like as if I don't do that already. Then how the heck do you, as the current president of the United States of America, even give speeches in outside areas if you're that afraid of spiders in the restrooms. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, what in the what world? What was that? Who's there here with me? Yeah. Joe, are you okay, bro? Just run for your life and stop moaning it out. What do you think I'm doing, Obama? I'm trying to run as fast as I can. Cut me some slack. I'm scared. You say that as you're running into the trees, my guy. Where else do you want me to run? We're in the middle of a forest, Barack Obama. Oh my gosh, you're not telling me I'm playing as a defenseless girl with no stamina now? Maybe if you would have saved it up beforehand, this wouldn't be an issue, Sleepy Joe. How was I supposed to know I was limited in how much I can run away? Everyone in their right mind should be in cross country if this demon exists. 
Wait, this literally just occurred to me. Did you just call me Sleepy Joe? I thought only Donald usually calls me that. All right, I'm going to be honest and say I have no idea what just occurred to me. Gosh, I got to get out of this tunnel. Oh, oh my gosh, he's still watching me. How do I run away from him? Joe, you can't. You could have, but your girl is low on stamina, and even then he'll still be on your back the whole game. So you're telling me there is zero way of fending him off? That is exactly what I am saying, Joe. Just run and keep tabs on him. How the heck am I supposed to do that if I'm also afraid to just even think about him getting near me? Just run, Joe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh gosh, a fence. That means you're basically cornered, bro. Oh, what the heck? Where am I supposed to get? You're not going now, Barack. I don't know, Joe. I know this forest area as much as you do. Just pick a direction and book it fast. Oh, of course, that's my only option. Why must all horror games come down to this? I didn't write the rules here. Stop complaining and just please run. Oh man, this is bad. Oh my gosh, of course he's still behind me. Why wouldn't he be? This is seriously not helping that all I'm seeing is just more trees that go on and on. I feel like I'm stuck in a time loop or something. That's because you went out of path. So long as you don't find a normal road, you're stuck with these trees. And then which direction do you suppose I can go to without running into him then? I don't know, Joe, like I said before, I don't know everything about this game. It's been forever since I've last played or heard about this game. Oh my gosh, this just feels so horrible without someone who happens to know a lot, like Donnie. He'd probably know what to do. Well, the fact of the matter is he isn't here right now, Joey. Just keep going. Oh my gosh, something that isn't a tree for once. A truck! Maybe we can use this to get out of here. What are the chances it has a fuel in it? Chances of that are very low. Not many have been in these parts. And these trucks would, too, have been here for quite some time. Since there are boarded fences around the area. Okay, so no is what I'm hearing right now. It is a horror game after all. So what do you think, Joe? Well, if there's anything remotely positive I can think of, at least I'm no longer stuck in the middle of hundreds of trees. I'm actually on a road right now. Hey, something about that looks familiar. Did I just circle around or something? Oh gosh, yes you did, Joe. You're back at where you were like six minutes ago. You're going backwards. Well, it's better than nothing. At least I know where I'm at right now. But you still have the Slender Man tailing you and you barely even explored like half the map. Just how huge is this forest, Obama? This place is like the equivalent of four football fields. And I'm not even exaggerating either. Oh, what the heck? Seriously, why are we even here in the first place? Did people back then just had the balls to believe they can just walt into a forest with a known demon and do whatever the heck they wanted? Oh, you'd be surprised how many were this way. Many have died or lost their careers for that exact reason. Wait, are you serious, Obama? Have you seen how crazy cancel culture was these past few years? Oh no, I'm cornered again. Oh my gosh, Joe, you're scaring me with the amount of times you're basically running near out of bounds. I'm just paranoid, okay? This is my first time hearing about this game and now I'm playing it. I'm just picking a direction and praying this works out. Joe, you're about to run into him. Turn the other way, bro. Oh, great. Now I'm running backwards again. How the heck am I supposed to know where I'm going if the Slender Man is just going to appear in the darkness? I seriously can't see anything out here. Joe, you need to settle down and just focus on beelining out of here. Okay, it's okay. I get it, Obama. I'm just scared as all. Uh, wait a second, Obama, I just realized something. Oh goodness, what now, Joey? This forest has been fenced off. But how did they do it without this slender guy getting out? If you're telling me he doesn't do a whole lot during the day, then that makes sense. But there's only so long that the sun's out for this thing to not escape this area. How did they keep this thing here? Okay, now that I think about it, I don't know. My guess is that the pages belong to the forest and the Slender Man harbors this area the most or something. Um, I don't think normal boarded fences can stop him. Oh, so now you're telling me there are no rules with dealing with this guy? He can just bypass the fences? I mean, he is a supernatural demon. What do you expect? He has no face and can teleport at will. What can he not do? I bet he can't pay taxes, huh? Come. Huh? What? Where? What? How? Where am I? Where is he? Help me, somebody? Anyone? Holy cow, this is just a sad sight to see. Joe, run like the wind. Don't tell me to run like the wind if there's literally nowhere to run. 
I'm stuck in this fenced area with whatever this monster is, and I can't even see a dang thing in front of me. What am I supposed to do in this terrible situation? Joe, you have like zero other options here. I hate to break it to you, but running as fast as you can is literally your only other ability here. No guns, no weapons, just your legs only. Of course I'm that defenseless. Why must these horror games always put me in these super unrealistic situations? If any of this was real, I'd have the entire military guarding this place. <laughs> Screw this slender guy. I don't care if he somehow contributes to society. No demon is ever allowed in these parts. Wow, a bit rude much, but okay, buddy. Don't you dare try to defend this guy. He's trying to kill me. Don't tell me he's coming all this way to me for some death hug or choke. He clearly has evil intent. Just the three pages I've collected already tell me the full story here. Holy cow, Slender did not like what you just said there. Now he's really upset at you. Oh, great. Now this wind is putting up so much speed to the point it sounds like an angry ambiance. How the heck am I supposed to run now? He's probably going faster than me at this point. Just run, Joe. You have no other options here. Hurry before he catches you. Or what What happens if he does catch me? Now I'm terrified. I don't remember. All I know is it's something horrible and you probably should not want to know. Gosh, why is it so unbelievably dark now? I can hardly see a thing out here anymore. That's because your flashlight battery's running out of juice. It's been on for so long that it's already about to burn out. What the heck kind of flashlight battery is this? I've been out here for what feels like 20 minutes. No way you're telling me this battery life is that bad. Flashlights are known to last for hours. Joe, this is a horror game. Horror games don't often give you anything great in your pockets. At this point, that should be something to expect from this game. Uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is this construction? Where am I? He's literally on my tail. Is there a page here at least? Holy moly, yes there is. I have to be quick so I can go around him. It is actually quite concerning how long that took just to find one page after the third one. I know for a fact I'm not beating this. I'm gonna die eventually. There's no way I'm finding all eight if I just made it halfway through. Joe, I just realized, where the heck are you going, sir? I'm trying to run out of here. I don't care where I'm going. I just don't want to get caught. Wouldn't you get caught in the trees faster, though? Don't act like as if I have any better places to be. This is freaking forest. I have nowhere to run from this guy. I'm trapped no matter where I head to. All right, I have nothing to dispute that with. You're kind of right, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, he was right there in front of me. I could have already almost died right there. I seriously can't see anything, not even where he is. And now once again, you're out of stamina. This is bad. Come on, girl, just get your breaths in and run, please. Joe, that is not how this works, my guy. Then what do you expect I do then? I don't know, Joe. Oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, you've been caught. Uh, Brace uh, yourself. My eyes, they hurt, help me. Uh, Joe, are you there, sir? Joe, wake up, you okay, bro? Huh? What? Oh, that's right. I died in Slender the 12 pages. Oh my goodness, Joe. What happened? Did you somehow pass out in those eight seconds or something? I think I just had a cardiac arrest from how horrific that sequence was. My soul feels like it's still trying to exit out of me. Excuse me, what? Can we play something else now, Obama? Hey, what's going on here, you two? Whoa, what the heck, Trump? Whoa, Donald, did you get back from your golf game or something? No, but me and my wife are on our way back home. We just finished up here. Oh, awesome. Anyways, what are you doing here, Donnie? I was just dropping by to see if you two are still playing Slender the Eight Pages. Actually, Joe just about finished playing here, but we've only recorded around like 16 minutes of this, though. 16 minutes? Oh no, you know how Jared edits these videos. He can compress an entire hour's worth of recording and make them as short as 10 minutes somehow. You might have to keep going, I'm sorry. Huh? I suspected as much. I was actually planning on taking over the second part of the gameplay just to increase the duration of the video. What? Always on point with our agenda for these videos. Anyways, I don't know when I'll be back, but hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you later, Donald. Have a safe ride back. Thanks, you two have fun, even if it's without me. See you shortly. I'm sorry, Joe. I cannot tell you how tempted I am to just leave the call right now and not experience this again. Don't worry, Joe, I'll be the one playing the game right now. If you ever need to, you could just look away from the screen if it scares you that much. Wait, I can do that? Didn't Donald say something about not doing that because I won't get the proper experience by doing so? You already got the proper experience of the game, so I don't think Donald would mind too much, I think. Oh, yay, thank goodness. There was something I was gonna say before I got jumped by the Slender Man. And what was that, Joe? I'm going to start paying every single school in any district to make sure their students can get decent enough in cross country. With this being alive and roaming these parts, the ability to hightail the heck away from him is very essential. 
A little random to bring up, but makes sense, I guess. And so it begins again. You've said you had already played this before, right? How long has it been? Ah, man, it's been a long while, but something about it almost feels like yesterday. I remember first playing this during when it was first out, which was about 11 years ago. It was such a big hit, the original site it was on at one point crashed because of how many visited it. What days those were. Golly, must have been the days if you remembered it so well, huh? I mean, admittedly, this was during the time I was in office, but still, quite the days I missed. Oh my gosh, I collected only one page and he's nearby? Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. How does the slender man even sleep? I thought demons usually are awake at night. I don't know, maybe they just sleep during the day or something. I guess that's why day is usually referred to as the light. Demons never want to invade foreign land when it's the wake of day. Well, that's semi-true. I've heard stories of actual demon possessings in the past. It was wild to see. Wait, are you serious, Obama? Yeah, stuff like that happened even during the day. In fact, I wouldn't be too surprised if it's still happening right now. Dang, I didn't think the Slender Man was actually real this whole time. Holy cow, the second page already. Hey, shouldn't you be a bit worried where Slender is? He might be close by, especially since you're getting your second page and all. Don't worry, Joe. I'm making sure I have my tabs on him. So far, the coast seems to be clear. Where the heck are you right now? What is this place? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. This area was a place not many have visited, including me, or at least I don't remember this area that well, to be honest. Uh, oh my gosh, what, what was that? Where the heck even is he right now? Your screen didn't even get fuzzy from that. He must be somewhere around the corner or something. What the heck was that about? I still don't even see him and the crickets are back. I don't know, but maybe you should run, Obama. I know, I know, but I have to save up my stamina so it would be easier to run from him later. Oh gosh, there's no page in here? Now we might be cornered? I don't know. At least it saves us from... The trouble of having to get out of the dank bathrooms with Slender more aggressive. Yeah, maybe, but would have preferred to have found one at least. Oh, okay, found him. He's right behind me. But why aren't you running, though? Like I said before, I'm trying to save up my stamina for when he gets more aggressive. If I run out of breaths too early, it'll be easier for him to catch up. But how do you know he's not catching up to you right now? I'll just keep looking behind me to make sure he's still just barely on my... Okay, he is not on my tail. He was just right in front of me. Jesus. Oh my gosh. You only have two pages and he's already upset at you. Guess someone really woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Well, let's just get out of here quick. Holy cow, that took a bit of time just to find something in the blue truck like before. Dang it, no page here at all, just my luck. How many of these places are there that have these pages? I, I can't remember too well, but I, I remember that there was kind of a lot. All I do know is that no page ever appears on some random tree in the middle of England. It will always appear in some sort of interesting location. Examples being the dead giant tree, the trucks, the bathrooms, or the weird giant rocks. Wow, so you're telling me I just went into those trees for basically nothing? I thought a page would just show up there or something. Well, unfortunately for you, that wasn't the case at all. I'm sorry, Joe. Oh, I can barely see it, but it's in fact another page. Why the heck is there just this big, long construction looking tube just in the middle of nowhere? How did it even get in this forest? I don't know. One random theory might be that there was a construction somewhere nearby and the Slender did something to them that caused some sort of mishap. I'm sorry, wait, just how old is this Slender guy? If something like that happened, that would have had to have been at least a century ago, maybe. The fact that part of the tube looks to have been submerged into the ground already gives me the impression that this tube is old. Slender's actually really old? I don't know how old but supposedly thousands of years old. And just like that, I'm done trying to understand this game. Okay, so he's directly behind me this time. No guarantees he's gonna just stay aligned with me though. Okay, suddenly I'm afraid. He's already no longer behind me and it's been like a few seconds. Where did he go? You had him in your sights beforehand. I don't know, I really have no idea where he went when he was just behind me like five seconds ago. Well, this is just fantastic, we might be screwed. Oh, hey, look, it's that walls thing you found earlier. Wow, that's kind of cool. Just hope this, there's at least a page here or something. Yep, there it is, the fourth page. Wow, that's a whole lot of nose on it. Because someone was certainly not having it when drawing that. Do 
do you perchance have some sort of interesting recurring memory coming back? No, not that I can think of anything right now. Dang it. Oh my gosh, how about you run instead? That's what I'm doing right now. Man, curse my inability to remember the map of this place. This place presenting me two choices is very daunting. Doesn't help that this forest is freaking massive. Pick one and you'll likely get lost. I'm already lost in this massive land? You know, now that I think about it, I do remember this one time me and my friends we're at another campground trying to learn about the wonders of squirrels. One time this one kid all of us hated because he was considered the school bully, decided to provoke a squirrel in a lot of ways possible. Oh my goodness, where the heck is he? Oh, oh gosh, once again, I'm frightened. Come on, stay with me, Joey. Just continue that story you're talking about with the squirrel and the bully. Oh, really? Okay, anyways, one method this bully did that was considered his favorite was getting the squirrel off the tree he was peacefully resting in. One time the bully actually brought over his own dodgeballs and would chuck it at the squirrel. Eventually he struck it and the squirrel was sent flying far. The poor buddy. What the heck kind of classmates did you have? Anyways, what happened afterwards, Joe? Well, since our teachers were usually pretty bad at their jobs of preventing school bullying, he got away scot-free, or at least that's what we thought. We're not 100% sure what happened, but that school bully was never seen again. Someone outside of our group claims she saw him get taken by the squirrel brethren. However, to this day, we still don't know how he disappeared. I'm sorry, did you say a group of squirrel might have taken the school bully? Yes, I did. Did you miss something else? I don't know if I can repeat that whole story again. Um, you know what? Never mind. All right, whatever you say, Obama. Hey, doesn't that kind of look like the tree I saw in the beginning? Yes, it does meaning I somehow must have sent myself in the beginning of the map. Did I just go in a full circle somehow? I don't know, I wouldn't know to be honest. Oh great, now he's pissed. Is this the part where you consider running now? Yes, absolutely, especially since he was pretty close behind me. I'm running now, you happy? Yes, it makes me happy to know that you're finally utilizing your legs, finally. Cannot tell you how on edge I was this whole time. Holy cow, it is so unbelievably dark out here, I was barely even able to see the red truck. Am I even gonna find a page here? Hopefully so, if I was able to find one here, you should too. Holy cow, now I just gotta get going, but I don't know where he's at right now. I don't know either, but I advise you use those legs of yours. Oh gosh, don't mind if I do use them. He's really close by. What are we gonna do, Obama? You only have six of eight and he's really mad. I don't know, Joe. All I can do is run. I don't even know if I can find the last two pages. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh my gosh, turn around. Oh my turn gosh, around. how did he teleport? No, no, like no, not that. again. What the heck, bro? All right, we're done with the game. Six out of eight is fine with me. Oh my gosh, Joe, are you there? This is one of the few times I need Donald here to wake him up. Sleepy Joe, we need you to wake up right now, sir. Oh, what was that? Oh wait, Donald. Wow, that was perfect timing. It's a strong suit of mine after all, so it shouldn't be too big of a surprise. Anyways, we're just about to wrap things up with this video. Do you still want to be part of the outro, Donald? Sure, I don't see why not. No, just for you jump scaring me like that and not being part of most of this video. No, Trump, you're sitting out on this one for today. Oh, uh, okay, sure, I guess. Well. Cue the outro then, I guess. Sorry, Donnie. Nah, it's all right. Kind of curious how you two will do this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video we brought for you all today. It was a interesting one to say the least. Please, I beg you all to not make me play something like this again. This was just too much. But if you really did enjoy the video, please consider giving this video a like and or a comment, along with subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps us make more of these types of videos for you all. As Donald, I think, would usually say, don't expect these too frequently. We're all busy with stuff we're doing in real life, but we promise as always to get these out there no matter how hard it may be for us. As always, take care. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. all.